Bienvenue. My name is Janet O'Flynn. I'm an occupational therapist. I want to invite you into a partnership of support for an exciting history-making development in rehabilitation in the country of Haiti. The Episcopal University of Haiti is opening a rehabilitation department in the town of Leogan. It will offer four-year academic degrees in occupational therapy, OT, and physical therapy, PT. Haiti is a country of over 8 million people. Before the devastating earthquake in 2010, Haiti, like many countries, had about 10% of its people living with disabilities. That figure is now much higher. One million or more Haitians have disabling conditions. My name is Dr. Sabrina Salvan, I am a professor of ergotherapy at Columbia University in New York. I am Dr. Yves Roseus. Je suis professeur d'ergothérapie à Long Island University de New York. Bientôt, un nouveau programme d'études en ergothérapie s'ouvrira à l'Université épiscopale d'Haïti. Ce programme, avec la physiothérapie, formeront le nouveau département de réhabilitation et d'adaptation qui sera affilié à la Faculté des sciences infirmières de Léogan. L'ergothérapie est une profession paramédicale de soins, de rééducation, d'adaptation, de réadaptation, d'intégration, de prévention et de conseil. L'égothérapeute est un professionnel de la santé et un intervenant central dans le continuum des services de réadaptation, d'adaptation et de soins à l'intégration sociale des personnes aux prises avec des problèmes de fonctionnement dans leur vie quotidienne. Nous travaillons avec les gens qui sont en prise de difficultés dans leur vie sociale, dans leur vie familiale, dans leur vie de travail, ou quel que soit l'endroit où ils évoluent. Il est temps qu'en Haïti que nous puissions avoir des Haïtiens préparés, des Haïtiens capables, des Haïtiens ayant la compétence de donner ce service en Haïti, parce que ce service est tellement en, en besoin, le, le pays en a besoin. Donc je crois que le moment est venu pour Haïti de se procurer une école d'ergothérapie, une école de réhabilitation. For many years, rehabilitation has been provided by volunteer therapists from overseas and by rehabilitation technicians who received their training in Haiti. Rehab technicians are taught to work under the supervision of professional OTs and PTs. The problem is that the supervisors, foreign OTs and PTs, usually come for short-term volunteer missions. They may not know what therapy approach will work the best in a different culture and the treatment plans they do create may end as soon as they leave Haiti. I would like to introduce Gabrielle Marjorie Dimanche. Gabby is a rehab technician. She was the chief therapist at St. Vincent's Center in Port-au-Prince when I first volunteered there in 1997. She now lives in Boston. Gabby is vice president of the Haiti Rehabilitation Foundation, formed to support the new academic programs at the Episcopal University. Hello, Gabby. Hello, Janet. Gabby, what do you think of the new OT and PT degrees at the Episcopal University of Haiti? I'm excited for my country of Haiti. The Haitians who have done the work in the clinic and the hospital for so many years can now take the courses to earn a four-year degree. They will be licensed to practice independently. They will be able to supervise her own staff. How did you get your training to work as chief therapist at St. Vincent's for 10 years? I had a supervisor who was a physical therapist from England. For several years, she gave me a foundation for my skills. And what kind of disabilities did your patients have? Uh, the children who came to the clinic had cerebral palsy, paralyzed from polio, orthopedic deformities from birth, or injuries from accidents. I also worked with adults with stroke or injuries. And did the patients improve with their therapy? Oh, yes, very much. And they appreciate so much. And did you feel you had skills that were equivalent to the skills from the physical therapist from England? The skill that 
I had very good. I did a good job with my patients, but I did not have all the medical training that will let me make a diagnosis. And are you working now as an occupational therapist or a physical therapist? No, I did not uh, have uh, a degree when I arrived in the U.S. I have taken the class to be a phlebotomy technician, surgical technician, and certified nursing assistant. Mm -hmm. I work at two jobs, okay. nursing home, and sometimes I have a third job as well. Wow. If you were in Haiti now, would you want this academic degree? Oh, yes. I will even take the courses now if I could take the courses online from Boston. I would prefer to learn in French and I would prefer to learn with my other Haitian. I would consider returning to Haiti with that degree because I might be able to support my family on a good salary. Hmm. Thank you, Gabby. Welcome. <laughs> it's one thing to know that rehabilitation in Haiti is important. It's another thing altogether to know whether this particular project will be successful and effective. I would like next to introduce Dr. Virginia Schiller and Dr. Robert Schiller. They have a remarkable marriage, personally to be sure, but also professionally. Ginny is a clinical psychologist and an author affiliated with the Yale Child Study Center. Robert is a Nobel Prize winning economist, one of the pioneers in behavioral economics. Ginny and Bob have made a generous financial investment in the future of this program, and I'd like them to tell you why they've done that. Hi, I'm Robert Schiller. I'm a professor of economics at Yale University, and I'm president-elect of the American Economic Association. And I am his wife, Virginia Schiller. I'm a clinical psychologist um, and also on the faculty of the Yale Child Study Center. We made an early and significant contribution to the Haiti Development Foundation. A program is as good as the people who are running it. And uh, for 28 years, I've been a friend and colleague of Janet O'Flynn. Um, we worked on a book together, Rewards for Kids. And I know uh, throughout the 28 years I've known her that she is an incredibly energetic, creative, dedicated, hardworking person who makes things happen. And that's where we want to invest our money. Janet and her colleagues have contacted faculty members in three universities, and they are in the process of developing a curriculum. They're setting up a foundation, applying for tax-exempt status. They're moving ahead, and it looks like a, a solid 10-year plan that they're having. I think it's inspiring. The idea of training people from Haiti to provide the, the services for, to rehabilitate them rather than sending in foreigners who are going to be there for a few weeks um, makes a great deal of sense and so we're very optimistic about this program. We're running this Indiegogo campaign in order to raise $22,400 to buy class sets of French textbooks. We're doing it one year at a time for 12 courses for one year for 20 students, we need 240 books. We're also committed to buying 20 tablets preloaded with electronic resources such as interactive anatomy software. These will be for the library at the campus in Laogon. Every donation of $60 or more will let us put your name into a textbook. Please join us at the Episcopal University of Haiti in bringing professional therapy education to the country of Haiti. Thank you so very much.